Martin Truex Jr. wins Pocono for his third Sprint Cup triumph. It's been busy. You know, they've had a ton of work to do. You look at the schedule and with Daytona, you got to have four plate cars. You know, like Cole was telling me that normally you'd use a couple of your cars from late in the year last year to start the season and then you'd build your new ones as you went. And we just, we've got to start from scratch with everything. So it's been busy for the shop guys. You know, the way we approach the, the racing part of it and getting, you know, getting ready for the weekends and going to the racetrack and, and approaching the weekends, I don't think that really changes. I think, you know, that was one of our strengths last year was you know, having good game plans on what we're doing, but not being afraid to step back sometimes. Things aren't going exactly the way you want. Just being able to regroup really quickly and make good decisions. When all the stuff went down in 2013 at Richmond, that was probably the low point. Um, but the other low point was when, when Sherry got diagnosed with cancer. Yeah, you know, I think all of it mashed together is, is kind of, uh, you know, all the same story. It's, you know, how can you find the silver lining you know, and how can you keep your spirits high enough to just keep pushing on and pushing forward and trying to get to where you want to go. You know, there's a lot to be said about never giving up.